Good morning children. Sai Ram. Welcome back to our active English class. So today the subject is active English. We are going to learn chapter 4. That is pages 11 and 12. So active English chapter 4 and the pages are 11 and 12. So let's begin the lesson. Our chapter is that we are going to learn the usage of the word often. O-F-T-E-N. So it is pronounced as often. T is silent. Right? So we are going to learn the usage of the word often. Now what is called often? What is the meaning of often? Means frequently. Again and again many times or many times so what is the meaning of often frequently or many times or just to remember again and again right so here are some examples using the word often he often goes for long walks by himself. He often goes for a long walk by himself. Next one. I often talk to him on the bus. I often talk to him on the bus. Means he has spoken many times. My dog often lies on the grass. So dog often, many times, frequently sleeps on the grass. Lies means sleeps. Children often ask me for money. Children often ask me for money. But nowadays children, they often ask for the mobile. Yes. Now, sorry. The last one is trains come more often than buses. Trains come more often than buses. So, here some example we read now. Now, let's move on to the next slide. And the next word is never. N E V E are never. So the first word is often and the next word is never. So what is the meaning of never? At no time. In the past or future. Not ever. Never means not ever. For example, never means uh, what do you say? I will never do this mistake again. So you're not going to repeat the mistake. You're not going to utter the mistake. That is called never. So we'll see the example sentences. I have never thought about it before. I have never thought about it before. They had never been anywhere else overnight together. So somewhere they have gone together. So you can say they had never been anywhere else overnight together. Still, as a child, she had never thought about it. We should never speak lies. So these are the simple sentences for never. You can understand. So we should never speak lies. We should never hurt animals. Right children? So these are the usage of never. Now let's, uh, now we are going to, the chapter is write the answers to the questions using often or never. So you are going to use either any one word. We are going to use any one word. 
So write the answers to the questions using often or never. So often means again and again, many times or frequently. Never means never do. You are not going to. Never means never. Okay. So let's read the question. So you will have fun in answering that. Okay. Let's move on to the first question. Yes. Number one. Have you ever been on a ship? Have you ever been on a ship? Yes. The question is, have you ever been on a ship? So your answer, you should use often or never. My answer is, I have never been on a ship. No, I have never been on a ship. So if you have been, if you have traveled, you have sailed in the ship, then you can say, yes, I have, I have often been on a ship. Very good. Now let's see the answer. So now in your book, the first answer is already given. It's already given. So the answer which was given is, yes, I have often been on a ship. So if the if this question comes in the exam, so you can change the answer. If it is S, you can write this. If it is no, no, I have never been on a ship. Right, children? Now let's move on to the next question. Yes. Have you ever seen a dog with two heads? So this you have to answer. This chapter you have to answer truthfully, honestly. So, yes. Have you ever seen a dog with two heads? No, I have never seen. I have never seen a dog with two heads. Have you seen? I have never seen a dog with two heads. So, yes. No. So, don't forget to put the comma here. I have never. So, if you don't write, if you don't use the word never or often, your answer will go wrong. So, you have to use no. I have never seen a dog with two heads. Have you ever seen a train? Yes, of course. So what is the answer? Yes. Of course you will write no. Yes, I have often seen a train. Right. Yes, I have often seen a train. Have you ever been in an aeroplane? Yes, I have often been in an aeroplane. So what is your answer? So if it is yes, you can write. Or if it is no, you will have to write. No, I have never been in an aeroplane. If it is yes, what you will write? Yes, I have often been in an aeroplane. So, any answer you can write it. Number five. Have you ever been in the jungle? No. My answer is no. I have never been in the jungle. So, what's yours? Yes. So nobody have must have gone in the jungle, right? So no, I have never been in the jungle. And what's the next question? It's so simple. 
Have you ever made a peanut butter sandwich? Peanut butter have you tasted? Yes, it's very healthy. So have you ever made a peanut butter sandwich? Yes, I have often made a peanut butter sandwich. So if your answer is no, no, I have never made a peanut butter sandwich. Have you ever eaten an egg? So same way as or no. Yes, I have often eaten an egg. So if it is no, what do you write? No, I have never eaten an egg. Number eight. Have you ever touched a snake? No, I have never touched a snake. So have you ever touched a snake? Have you ever touched? No, I have never touched a snake. So while you are writing the answer, you have to be honest, I say. Okay, next one. Have you ever helped your mother? Yes, I have often helped my mother. Yes, I have often helped my mother. And no telling lies. If you have not helped, you will say, No, I have never helped my mother. And the next question. Have you ever been to the cinema? Yes, I have often been to the cinema. Yes, I hope you also must have gone. Yes, I have often been to the cinema. And okay, now this is off page number 11. Now next we'll move on to page number 12. Now in page number 12, we have... To use the word yet. Y E T yet. Now, what is the meaning of yet? Means up until the present or a specified or implied time or by now or then. So, there are many meanings. So, you will understand in a better way when you read the example sentences. Okay. Now, the example sentence, I haven't seen that movie yet. So, somebody is asking, have you seen that movie in the present? Okay. Have you seen that movie? So, what you are saying? I haven't seen that movie yet. So, don't tell me how it is ends okay children so here he is my worst enemy so you are saying that he is my worst enemy and yet i admire him as the wisest man in the world but still it means but still i admire him as the wisest man in the world the last one the evening was ending, but the night had not yet come. So the evening was going to end, but the present is the night is uh, the night had not yet come. So these are the uses. We can use the word yet here and we'll see more examples. Now, where do we use this yet? We can use this yet as an adverb to refer to a time which starts in the past and continues up to the present. And we use it mostly in the negative statements. We use mostly in the negative statements or questions in the present perfect. 
it usually comes in yen position now the next word is nearly so often never whitey yet the last word is nearly what is the meaning of nearly very close to or almost okay now let's see the example sentence i have been awake nearly all the night so almost all the night he was awake tom played guitar nearly for an hour so tom played guitar nearly for an hour so almost he played for an hour i have been waiting here nearly 3 hours so it was not exactly 3 hours but nearly 3 hours so, so i have been awake nearly all the night not for the whole night but all the but all the night tom played guitar nearly for an hour not exactly an hour but nearly for an hour now let's move into the questions write the answers to the questions using no so all answers should be no negative statement right and using yet and nearly so we are going to use both the words in the no negative statement so all your answer should be no but in your no answer yet and nearly the word should be there now let's see is yes. number 1 have you finished writing yet so the answer should begin with no so all for all the questions the answer should begin with no no i have not finished writing yet so in the present you are saying no i have not finished writing yet but i have nearly finished but almost i am going to finish it right so when you practice this it will be very easy has he finished singing yet so no he has not finished singing yet but he has nearly finished but he has nearly finished he is almost going to finish have you finished reading yet no he has now children if the question begins with has so you will also use the word has no he has not right so in the third question so the questions is have have you finished reading it so you will say no i have not no i have not finished reading yet but i have nearly finished so be careful and read the question and pay attention to the question all answers should be in no and the word yet should be there nearly should be there if have is there use have if has is there use i that is has so the next question is yes again has so has she finished swimming yet no she has not finished swimming yet but she has nearly finished but she has nearly finished yes 
Has he finished drawing yet? No, he has not finished drawing yet. But he has nearly finished. Right? No, he has not finished drawing yet. But he has nearly finished. Now here again the question is have. Have they finished watering the plants yet? So, no, they have not finished watering the plants yet. But they have almost, that is, yes, they have nearly finished. No, they have not finished watering the plants yet. But they have nearly finished. Have they finished cleaning the room yet? No, they have not finished cleaning the room yet. But they have nearly finished. So check the answer. Yes, it's correct. Have you finished cleaning your shoes yet? Now here have. No. Yes. I have. So you will become I. So have you finished? So you will answer. No, I have not finished cleaning my shoes yet. But I have nearly finished. Has the man finished mending the tap yet? So, what's the answer? No. Sure, your mistake is there. Let me take my pen. So, here T will not come. Okay. Right. So, no, he has not finished mending the tab yet. But he has nearly finished The last question, have the girls finished playing tennis yet? No, the girls have not finished playing tennis yet, but they have nearly finished. We have one more question. Levin, have you finished this page yet? So you will, I. So no, I have not, sorry. I have not finished this page yet, but I have nearly finished. Now is there one more question? Yes, one more question is there. Has Mrs. Shah, so Mrs. Feminine, so has Mrs. Shah finished teaching yet? No, Mrs. Shah has not finished teaching yet, but she has nearly finished. Now here we come to the end children. So pause the video and read each and every question twice thrice and the assignment the same questions are given so think and complete write the answer and submit it till then bye bye children